Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. Today we will solve problem 1-34. So the statement of problem is that the built up shaft consists of pipe AB and solid rod BC. So you can see this is a built up shaft that consists of uh, pipe AB and a solid rod BC. The pipe has inner diameter of 20 millimeter and outer diameter of 28 millimeter while the rod has a diameter of 12 millimeter. Determine the average normal stress at point D and E represent the stress on a volume element located at each of these points. So you have to find the stress sigma D and you have to find the stress at sigma E. So let's start with the solution. So first we will find the uh, sigma D which is at point D. So for that we have to cut this pipe at point D. So when you cut this pipe at point D, so I will draw the front view of this pipe. So this pipe will be like this. At this edge there is a 4 kN that is in this direction, 4 kN. This is point A and this is point D. So if you see here that if you cut it, so there will be some force over here which is the summation of this. So 6 Newton plus 6 Newton, 12 minus 12 Newton in this direction plus 8 Newton in this direction which will give you minus 4 Newton, kilo Newton. So minus 4 kilo Newton means that the force will be in this direction. Clear? So this is the free divided diagram. You can find the, the stress at point D which is given as sigma D is equal to P divided by A. Now you can see that this load P is 4 kN. It's clear. So 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by area of this pipe. So area of this pipe is the pipe is of this. So its outer diameter is also given that is equal to 28 mm clear and the pipe has inner diameter that is equal to 20 mm so for circular pipe having area is represented as pi by 4 into outer diameter square so outer diameter is 28 so when you convert it into millimeter so it will be equal to 0 0.0 28 square minus inner diameter which is 20 millimeter and 20 millimeter is equal to 0 0.02 meter and its square so when you calculate this so stress normal stress at point D will be 13.3 into 10 raised to the power 6 Pascal layer and that will be equal to 13.3 mega pascal this is point D and remember that if you want to put negative sign because the load is minus so this will be negative which means that this is compressive or you can take it for but you can see that since the force is compressive so this sigma D will be also compressive this is compressive stress so both way you can do it either by putting a negative side na negative sign or you can consider that this force is compressive and you can calculate and at the end you can uh, you can tell that this is compressive stress now we'll move for point D for point C so for point C we will find sigma C and sigma C a is to be fine so for point c when you cut this shaft so definitely this is solid shaft rod so at this point c there is 8 kilo newton now to the left side you can see there is 6 newton 6 newton 12 newton that is negative 
and plus 4 which is equal to minus uh, 8 clear so minus 8 means that this will be in negative direction so 8 kilo Newton now you can see this is a tensile force so Sigma C will be equal to force per unit area or load per unit area so the load is 8 kilo Newton so 8 into 10 is to power 3 divided by this is solid rod this is solid rod it's having diameter 12 millimeter that is given so 12 millimeter is equal to 0 0.012 clear so you can put so area of this solid rod is pi by 4 d square so d is 0 0.012 whole square so when you calculate it you will get 70.7 into 10 to power 6 pascal clear or this sigma c will be equal to 70.7 mega pascal so this is very easy problem in this way you can find the stress at given point i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching